the system is essentially done. We do have a small contingency of National Guard personnel on the ground in a maintenance mode. Um, at some days, we had as many as 200 people down here uh, actually building it, but we're now in a maintenance contingency. Yeah. How long is this separator? Uh, we actually have two sections of it. Uh, on Dolphin Island, the North Shore is about uh, four and a half miles long. Uh, then you cross the ferry and go over to Fort Morgan, and there's another about three-quarters of a mile. You think that's going to be enough? Well, it's certainly going to be enough to protect the north shore of these two islands. Uh, and the primary reason we're here is that the Alabama Department of Environmental Management wanted to protect the bird sanctuary and nesting grounds uh, on this side of the island. All right, we're going to see a little uh, tape here, Dan, but uh, maybe you can explain to us how, this, um, how your device actually works, the oil water separator. Certainly. Um, we use a polymer technology. Some people refer to it as solidifiers, but the technology, it's been around about a decade, and most response companies are aware of it. Um, however, they, for reasons I don't know, elected not to use it. Mm -hmm. um, BP has used this on a number of uh, incidents for the past uh, several years, and that's how we got brought into this situation because they were willing to use technology instead of you know relying on mass labor. But as the water passes into the cells, which are gabion baskets, each one of them functions as an oil water separator. We've put CI agent into the center of the basket. If there's oil in the water, uh, the oil will pass into the center. The CI agent will solidify it, turning it into a solid mass, which prevents it from moving on to the beach or returning back to the bay. How um, is it going to hold up against heavy crude? Uh, I know you've tested it against diesel, but some of the stuff that's coming out of that wellhead that could potentially come ashore is pretty, pretty dense stuff. Yeah, it's actually been used on crude a number of times. Mm. Uh, they use it in Australia uh, quite often. Uh, it will solidify any organic hydrocarbon, everything from crude oil to light sheens. It also includes seed oil, uh, vegetable oil, animal fat. Um, it really doesn't make any difference. As long as it's a uh, hydrocarbon and it's organic, it will solidify.